Introducing our 2007 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Chris Orpel. His presenter this evening is Mr. Jeff Newman, who wrestled for Chris many years ago at Palo Alto High School. Jeff was Chris's best man. Chris was Jeff's best man in their weddings. Chris Horpel was a standout wrestler at Newport Harbor High School. He placed first and second in the CIF Southern section and had a perfect season his senior year, winning all of his matches and pinning 34 of 36 opponents, a national record in 1970. He attended Stanford University where he set the season and career pen record with 18 pins in one season and 56 for his career. He was the Pac-8 Conference Champion at 150 pounds in 1975. In 1976, he was the first alternate on the U.S. Olympic Greco Roman team. Chris served, as, Chris served as an assistant wrestling coach at Stanford, Palo Alto, and Gunn High Schools and UCLA before, before returning to Stanford, where he coached the wrestling team and taught physical education for 24 years. He was perhaps the first coach in the NC2A history to make a Division I wrestling program financially self-sufficient through his extensive fundraising. His Stanford athletes earned 10 Pac-10 conference titles. He also coached seven All-Americans and seven of his athletes won national freestyle and Greco-Roman titles. Chris also served as the head coach for the Dave Schultz Wrestling Club and coached many international teams for USA Wrestling including one world team and three Pan American teams. His Dave Schultz teams won seven national titles and 49 individual titles in freestyle and Greco-Roman. They also won four world titles and two Olympic gold medals, and he had one NC2A Division I champion. In 2003, Chris Orpel resurrected the Gunn High School program in Palo Alto where his teams now are ranked in the top 10 in the Central Coast section. Chris also was a member of the Board of Directors of the National Wrestling Coaches Association for six years and also served six years as a member of the National Collegiate Athletic Association Wrestling Rules Committee. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Chris Hortel. I'll keep it short. <laughs> First, thank you to the committee for inducting me. Uh, if you knew how I started in this sport, uh, I don't think anyone would ever have thought Hall of Fame. Um, I basically was pinned every match over and over and over for an entire summer wrestling in freestyle tournaments. My dad, my coach, Frank Horpel, uh, <laughs> kept telling me, don't worry, it'll be good for you. <laughs> so if getting pinned is good for you, then I got something out of it, that's for sure. Um, after a summer of getting pinned, I finally started beating a few people and made the JV team at good old Newport Harbor High School where I was coached by Joe Fox, a former wrestler for Northern Iowa. Uh, Joe couldn't be here tonight, but he was a pretty big influence on me and I wrestled for him all four years at Newport Harbor High School. After Newport, I went to Stanford and was coached by Joe DeMio, uh, a former Cornell wrestler and now kind of famous Greco-Roman coach. He's coached many world teams and has done especially well on the international level. Um, but by far my biggest and best coach was my dad. Uh, Frank Horpel was uh, a club coach primarily. He did it as a hobby. He's in another Hall of Fame, similar to this one. It's, it's the California chapter of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. And uh, he unfortunately has um, passed on. He died of Parkinson's disease in 1993. Uh, but he was very active in wrestling all the way up till that time. And uh, I accepted on behalf of my dad when he was uh, inducted a couple years ago. Um, 
he was the only coach being inducted that evening who was a volunteer. Wrestling was a hobby for him, but it was a very intense hobby. And that intensity kind of um, worked its way into me. So uh, wrestling for me was a very, very intense thing, both as an athlete, as a coach. Um, you know, while I'm in the middle of it, it's the most intense thing there is. And if there is one thing I wish I could do better, and I was asked this uh, earlier tonight in an interview, if I were to do it again, what would I do differently? And I think that the thing that I would do is appreciate it in the moment. Um, I was always a bundle of nerves when I wrestled. I'm still a bundle of nerves when I coach. After it's all over, I feel fantastic. But in the moment, there are maybe five matches in my career I enjoyed while they occurred. Uh, I coached the very first athlete that I coached, uh, and the way I met him is kind of interesting. As I was a junior at Stanford, I had just become an All-American, and this kid comes over in the spring and says, hey, I hear you're an All-American, I'd like to be coached by you. And I looked at him, he was this little pudgy middle school kid, and I thought, you know, I'm a little bit big for you, I don't think I can do that much for you. And he said, I don't care, I just want to be coached by an All-American. So I said, okay, I'll wait till the end of my workout and I'll work out with you for a few minutes. Well, this guy's name was Dave Schultz. <laughs> and coaching him was so much fun that it literally changed my career path. So I had studied architecture, but I enjoyed coaching him. And then shortly after Dave, there was Mark. And within two years, I had two state champions. And I figured, this is easy. <laughs> Little did I realize that uh, they were Dave and Mark Schultz. <laughs> anyway, um, from there I went to coaching at Stanford and I, I've had a great time. But after 25 years there, I decided to uh, retire. But I can't really retire, so now I'm going to be the AD and continue coaching at Gunn High School. So anyway, um, that's my quick story. and. Uh, Thank you for inducting me. I never would have imagined this that first summer. Thank you. Congratulations, Chris.